In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can record your next Zoom video chat up next. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. My name is Jeff, and if you are new here, I do different tech review videos as well as helpful tutorials, so let's jump in. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use your recording in Zoom and then uh, repurpose that later on for maybe uploading to YouTube, Facebook, or using it to uh, maybe turn into a podcast or even upload to Google Drive so that you can share it with others at a later point. Uh, and real quickly, you are able to record Zoom calls uh, even if you are just using the free version of Zoom. If you are paying for the pro version of Zoom, that does give you a little bit more options, which I'll go through. Now, if you don't have a Zoom account or if you are new to Zoom before watching this video, I recommend you also check out my beginner's guide to using Zoom, and I will put a link down to that video in the description below. So with the free version, Zoom gives you the option to save your recording to your local computer. And I'm going to be showing you that first. So I've initiated a Zoom video call right now, even though there's nobody else on this call. But I just want to show you guys that there is a record button that's going to be down at the bottom here. And I can click that record button. And once I do that, that is going to start recording. And you'll see that as noted up top here. And uh, with that, then you can also pause that recording or you can stop it. And you can also do that from the button down here. So once you are done recording your meeting, you can go ahead and stop that recording. And it says up top here, the recorded file will be converted to an MP4 when the meeting ends. So the file is not actually created until you are done with your meeting. So I'm going to end my meeting here. And then it says here to keep this meeting running, please assign a host. We're going to end the meeting for all. Now, once I do that, I'm going to get a pop up here that says converting the meeting recording. So we're going to see that I've got my three files that were created. Uh, I've got an audio only file. I've got this playback file, which is an M3U. And then I've got this MP4 file. And if I click on this, uh, I use a program like VLC to play my videos. I can click that record button. I will actually have my MP4 file and that's gonna be ready to go. If I just wanted the audio, I can use that. Um, and there's uh, an audio only file which saves it as an M4A. And what you can do with that then is if you want to incorporate it into like a podcast or something, uh, you probably will need to convert this M4A file into an MP3 file to use it uh, if you want to edit it and splice it up. Uh, two programs that I would recommend that you can use for that are going to be iTunes or Audacity, and I will leave links down below if you want to download those. But there's options in those programs to easily convert an M4A file over to an MP3. So after I'm done recording that video chat, uh, if I've closed that window and I can't seem to find those files anymore, uh, what I can do is go to my Zoom application here, and then once that's opened, there's these buttons at the top, Home, Chat, and then you'll see Meetings. If I click on Meeting, I've got two tabs, in Upcoming and Recorded. And if I go to Recorded here, I can actually see uh, different meetings that I have recorded locally. And if we click like this one here, I can see uh, the location of where it's been saved on my computer. I can just click the Open button, and that's going to take me back to that window with those files. The other thing is right from this Zoom meeting area, I can choose to play or just play audio or delete these files right from inside the Zoom application. And real quick, in each one of our videos, we hide Tinker, our little hidden robot. He's gonna pop up briefly somewhere in each one of our videos. If you happen to spot him in this video, let me know down in the comments section below the time when you saw him as well as your best comment. So the paid version of Zoom, what you actually have is more options for cloud recording. And down here at the bottom of my Zoom recording screen, there is a record button with the little arrow or the carrot pointing up. And if I click on that, I have the option to record to this computer, or I also have the option to record to the cloud. And if I click on, say, recording to the cloud, 
uh, then it's actually recording here. This is pretty neat. So we're going to do a test recording and see how this works. And when we are done recording, I'm going to hit stop. Do you want to stop cloud recording? Uh, if yes, you'll receive an email notification when the cloud recording is ready. All right, let's do that. And then up top here it says you'll receive an email when cloud recording is available. Fun. So under cloud recordings, I can see different recordings that have been done here. Uh, and I've got two options here. I've got a share button. And the share button gives me more options here to share this recording publicly. Uh, or only auth uh, authenticated users can view. Uh, I can add an expiration date to the link. There's all sorts of different things that I can do here. Uh, so when I am uh, ready to share, I can even copy sharing information to the clipboard and then go ahead and share that. Uh, there's also a more button here and I can download two files. Uh, I can also delete this recording. Something else I wanna show you is if you wanna change the location of where your chat recordings are going, you can go into your Zoom app and then under your profile, uh, picture you can click on that and then go down to settings and then under your settings here you'll see different options off to the left and you want to go down to recordings recordings here will allow you to change the location of the local recordings that you are uh, recording and if you uh, just want a quick shortcut to that folder with all your recordings in it you can click that otherwise you can go to change here and then this will allow you to choose a different folder where you might want to save your different recordings too. Also under these recording settings in the app, it gives you more options here that you can customize as far as like choosing a location, uh, location for recorded files when the meeting ends right away. So it'll give you that option and uh, you can also record separate audio files for each participant. Just all sorts of different things you can do to customize the recording. Uh, giving you more options depending on what you want to do with those recordings. Another area with more settings that I want to show you is on Zoom's website. So if you log into your account and then click my account in the upper right, this will take you to your account settings area or profile area. And then under the personal on the left side here, you're going to see different items. Uh, there's recordings and then there's settings. First, let's take a look at settings. And this is an area where you can customize all different settings for your meetings, but you've got meetings here and then next to that you have recording. Under recording, this is going to give you more options for say local recording and cloud recording here. Uh, and you can tick mark these things and turn these settings on and off as needed. Local recording, you can uh, give participants the permission to record locally. Uh, and then cloud recording here, there's all sorts of different options. Record active speaker with shared screen, record gallery view with shared screen, all different types of things. So depending on what you are looking to record and what use you want that for, you can tick mark the ones that you want. You can also set up here like automatic recording uh, as well as other settings here for those recordings. So a bunch of different options here. This is under the recording area of settings. And then if you click on recordings, you're going to see here any saved recordings you have for cloud recordings as well as local recordings. So if you are hosting a meeting uh, and you want a participant to have the ability to record that meeting, you have to give them permission or allow them to record. The way you would do this is if you're in your Zoom meeting, you can go down here to manage participants. And I've actually got another Zoom account that I created. We'll just have it be Jeff2. And they are currently in the waiting room and I'm going to admit them in. Now, once they become part of this meeting, you'll see here the other account is right here. Um, under my participants, they are now part of this meeting. When I mouse over them, I can go to more. And under more, that actually gives me an option here to allow record. And then from that point, when they hit the record button after I'm allowing it, it will allow them to record. If they try to hit the record button on their Zoom window without me allowing it, it just will say that you do not have permission to record this uh, Zoom meeting. So to record my Zoom meeting, uh, this option is only available, as far as I can tell, on the Pro Zoom software. So you'd have to be paying for Zoom to do the recording in Zoom on your 
mobile device, but on my Google Pixel 3 here in the meeting, if I go down to the lower right corner where there's these three dots and you see more, if I click on that, that brings up the options here uh, and you can see that the first one there is to record. So that gives me that option. This does not show up on the free version of Zoom on my mobile device. So if you're using a free Zoom account on your mobile device, like I mentioned, when you go down here to the more, you will not have that option to record. But as a workaround, something you can do is use a third party app. I like to use something called A to Z Screen, which is a free app that you can download. I'll put a link down below. Uh, but essentially you can just choose to record video and that's going to record anything that's going on on your screen, including that would, re uh, would record your Zoom meeting. So that is a workaround that you can do. I would do a test with that just to make sure that you've got your audio set correctly because I know different settings affect uh, if you can actually record just picture or if you're going to be able to pick up the audio as well. But I've been able to use uh, applications like that to do screen recording even though I can't record on my free Zoom account. So I finished recording my Zoom video meeting and now I've got my files here that it's giving me. Um, if I want to upload this to say Facebook or YouTube, I probably am most interested in this MP4 video file. The audio is only going to give me the audio. Uh, what I could do is, let's say I go over to my Tinker Forward YouTube channel and I am logged into my account. Uh, I have this button up top here to create a video or post and when I click on that it gives me these different options here. I'm going to upload this video. Now this brings me to the upload videos window and I can drag and drop videos that I want to upload. I can go back to my folders here that's on my computer find that Zoom MP4 file that I want to upload and drag this over to my upload videos window. And when I do that, that is going to start uploading that video to YouTube. I can then finish adding titles, thumbnails, things like that. But then that's how I would upload that video to YouTube. Same thing for Facebook. If I am logged in and I've clicked on my profile and I want to create a post here, I can just go to photo or video and that's going to bring up different windows here to search for what file I want. I would just need to remember where I saved that file on my computer. In this case, I have it under a Zoom folder on my desktop and I can just click that file to go ahead and start uploading it to Facebook. If I am logged into my Google Drive, I can do the same thing. Uh, I can go to New over here on the left and then choose what I want to do. And in this case, I would be doing a file upload. And then from this point, what I could do is choose the file that's located on my computer, that Zoom file which I just have a Zoom folder here created with it, and I can go ahead and start uploading that file. Then from all these different areas, uh, if I've got a file that's been uploaded, I can just right click under Google Drive and go to Get Shareable Link, and then I would be able to give people that shareable link to view that video. So if you found this video helpful, please take a second and smash that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, you can do that as well. I've done other tutorial Zoom videos that show you cool things like how to change your background as well as how to use cool features like breakout rooms so you can get more out of using Zoom. I've also done other tech reviews and tutorials on this channel. You can find links to all of that down in the description below. My name is Jeff. This this is Tinker Ford. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take a second and subscribe as well, and you will get notified whenever I receive when I... <sighs> Let's try that again. Things a little bit easier. I can just um, copy. No, let's do it. Hmm, interesting.